Hello guys, welcome to episode 14, yes, of Let's Play Minecraft Alpha. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is, since last episode, well, I'm just going to show you this. It's, I took off the top of this mountain, I lit all this up, pretty much. Um, so, no more lighting up this episode, I'm kind of sick of it. Um, it's been a little while since I've actually done commentary, because uh, I've spent the last week, well, last few days, pretty much, working on the 100th video. So yes, I am indeed doing something for that. But as you can see right there is the that's the new addition to my world. I built this little footpath thing out to here. This is actually perfectly in line with the center of this circle, so the center axis and the staircase and the tower itself. So this is perfect symmetry on either side pretty much. Don't just ignore the dirt, but that's the tower. That's essentially the look I want to go for. I wanted to build it out of dirt first before I replaced it with stone and everything because I didn't really know how I wanted it to look. But uh, it's got fences for the sides. I'll show you a better look at that. But that's essentially what I want it to look like. Um, yeah, I, th I think it looks alright from here. Um, I think, yes, here we go. So yeah, um, also I was doing quite a bit of thinking and planning revolved around the... Son of a bitch. Revolved around the Sky River. I don't think I'm going to do it. I've come to the conclusion that it would take way too much time, and the purpose just isn't there anymore. I don't need it, because I've already got all the bacon I'll ever need. I've already got all the the feathers and everything like that that I'll ever need from, you know, here. Even though chickens, well, we don't get feathers from there. But the leather and the bacon, uh, we don't need that in bulk. I mean, it'll be nice to have, but it's not something we need continuously. So, the only time when I needed to get from base to over there was when I was actually building it. And considering I've finished building it, yeah, there's not really much point. So, I do think I'm going to have a minecart track from the base to over there, um, just to make it a little bit easier. But, I mean, as for the Sky River, I think that's too much work to, uh, to serve a kind of pointless purpose. Um, however, that said, I am going to be implementing some kind of sky river in the form of a water slide. I'm going to build kind of like a water slide type thing. Um, yes, because boat mechanics and the way boat interacts with water, well, boats interact with the water, uh, in this version of Minecraft is much different to what it is now. So, fuck. So that means that I am going to actually be able to build a decent water thingamajig. Indeed. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you the tower, that's right. I'll have to harvest my wheat as well. I'll do that off camera because it's, uh, I think I've done that enough times on camera for you to see what it's like. But yes, this is essentially it. Um, it takes a while to place the fences because you have to place it from top to bottom. From the top to the bottom. But yeah, this is essentially it. And there's a fire on top, which I don't know if you saw. I don't know if I actually recorded that. I'll have to check the footage back. But this is uh, going to be replaced with cobblestone and smooth stone in some kind of pattern. I haven't really decided yet what it's going to be, but uh, I'll have probably a ladder in the middle here, maybe, on one of the sides, so it doesn't obstruct the view, or I could have lava pouring down the center, and uh, just for cosmetic purposes and stuff like that. I don't know, something like that. Um, I don't know if fences actually burn in this version of Minecraft. Um, I'll have to test that. I don't know if they do or not. I think I might actually test that right now go down to my little testing area over there and see if fences can be indeed ignited by flinted steel. Let's see, how do I get down? Well, I mean, this isn't this isn't the, uh, the most feasible way to get down, but I mean, it works, right? So, this, flinted steel. Alright. For science. So, if we were to... Huh. So, that would tell me that it doesn't burn, but I want to make sure... So fire spreads indefinitely. Come on, is it going to burn? Because, it, yeah, in this version of Minecraft, fences aren't made of wood. They're made of, um... Well, the game thinks they're made of stone, which is why you can't break them with a with an axe. Breaks really slow. So it thinks it's made of stone, but... Um, so yeah, that's an option to have, get out of the way, wheat farm, jeez, I wish I could have this hooked up to pistons so I could just push it out of the way if I ever wanted to show the tower. Um, 
but yeah, so that's essentially what I want to go with. Um, I could, but oh wait, no. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was thinking of something stupid. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, if I have lava pouring down the center or something, that would look kind of cool. Um, and I don't think the fence is going to burn, so indeed it's going to look pretty damn cool. But I'm definitely happy with how this whole place is lit up now, so there's pretty much no danger of mobs. Um, and this is working a lot better now. Whenever I walk past, a uh, couple of seconds after I've spent a bit of time here, a thousand mobs just suddenly come up my tube and... <coughs> yes, they come up that tube, not my tube. I should have chosen my wording a little bit better there. But I mean, at night time now it's a little bit easier to walk around. I don't have the danger of getting shot in the head or, you know, blown up to Kingdom Come or getting, you know, molested by a zombie. So, mm -hmm, it's definitely an improvement to this area. That's uh, what I would call it. Indeed. But I was thinking of doing some pillar designs. I wonder if that's going to pop in the video because my shitty microphone. But yes, yeah, some pillar designs, some columns for the corners, or well, pseudo corners of this circular room uh, on the outside. And I'm, like I said before, I'm not sure if that's going to be the final version of the tower, but definitely that's what I want it to look like on top. I like that design. It's nice. Um, you can't really see it now because it's night time, but during the day it's got different tiers of lighting because of the shading. Uh, with olden lighting it, it goes the brightest at the top, then mid, and then it's dark for the bottom. So it's like different tints of uh, grey when I replace it with stone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to... And... Oh man, there's not really a lot to do because I need daytime to actually build different types of columns and stuff. I think I'm going to wait till daytime to actually build the columns, but I think I'm going to do a little bit of spelunking around the area. Because I do think there's actually a few caves that I haven't actually explored yet. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna check over there, which is where I believe I got lava in one of the first episodes. Could be wrong on that, but... Oh well. Feathers we don't need. we just stock up on our arrows, we'll take that. And gunpowder. Jesus. That was loud. So yeah, it definitely works a lot better now though, which is the main idea. Alright. Diamond sword. And my iron armor is pretty much cashed out at this moment. Because I kept jumping off stuff. Is there a zombie? Is he on top of this tree? You better not be on top of this tree. Hang on. That's a little dark. I think he is on top of that tree. Let's see. I can't see him. I don't know, maybe somewhere and I just can't think of it, because, yeah. Eh, whatever. Indeed, I keep hearing him. Maybe he's under the ground. Maybe he's down there somewhere. Yeah, it sounds louder when I'm over here. That concerns me. Oh. I don't have any torches. Ah, I don't have any coal. God damn it. I'm going to have to... I'm always running low on coal in this area. I'm going to have to make like a strip mine or something. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I found the project for this episode. Strip mining. Also, I have been inspired greatly by uh, Mr. Zisto on the Minecraft server. He has done... I, I can't believe I've never even thought of this, but he's got this design for a strip mine called the Pinwheel... Oh god, I watched it a few days ago. Or, or yesterday. That's So that's far beyond my memory reach, but something like a pinwheel mine... I uh, don't remember the exact name for it, but I'll show you when I get down there. I'm not going to do the exact same design, but he's got like alternating tunnels, so you unleash... <laughs> unleash? Unleash the power! No, you, you, uh, you reveal blocks as you mine, uh, as you know, so if you were digging on these two, you'd reveal these blocks and so on. Um, but yeah, the way he interlaces the tunnels works really well, and I'm going to try my hand at that. And I'm going to need a strip mine eventually, and I guess the time has come because I need coal. And coal always seems to be the one thing that I'm running out of. And I'll put my gravel back in the chest and stuff because um, I was using it to build the tower. But yeah, it's a very helpful material, believe it or not. It's just you don't want to bring too much with you because then, yes, it'll just fill up your inventory. Put all the dirt back in there. Uh, put the flint and steel in that. I'm going to organize this and be right back. Okay, we are all set to get started on this zip thing. 
I don't know what it's called. All right. Um, now the question is, how do I want to build it? I think. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I don't know. I'm torn between a couple of ideas here. Um, I want to build it here because it's next to, you know, this is my original mine shaft and everything like that. And I've already set it up and everything like that. The problem is, is that I've already done quite a bit of digging. So, uh, yeah, it's not really going to blend in with the rest of the design and it's not going to be very fruitful um, with uncovering different elements. Like that right there is, I mean, vertically parallel tunnels, which is not part of the design. So I think I'm going to actually build somewhere else. I'm going to do a much smaller mine shaft than this, probably a, only a 2 by one And then I'll actually start with the room at the bottom near bedrock. So I will be or be once I find a decent location to set up a new mine shaft. I'll have to shut it, shut it up. Wow. I'll have to set it up somewhere that I haven't been before, that I haven't dug. Um, because there's a couple of places already that I've dug down to bedrock and then done a little bit of strip mining, but I'll have to choose a new location. Um, I'm going to scout the area a little bit, and it's probably going to be a little bit dangerous because it's still night time. I don't know where the, where the s well, I know where the sun is, the sun's beyond the horizon, but I don't know where the moon is, so oh, I must be getting daytime soon. Yeah, there it is. So, the good thing about my vantage points here is that I can kind of see where would be a good idea? Actually, I think I'm going to do it over there. Because I've just got that lone torch up on that hill that I placed in episode 1. And it's not really serving a purpose. I think it's just nice to see the the actual size of this valley and how far away that torch really is. So I think what I'm going to do is actually build a mine shaft up over there. And see what I can do. But yeah, th this is definitely working a lot better now. A lot better. Where did I get gunpowder? It's all good. Gotta love it. But yeah, I want to start season two of Minecraft. I'm starting to, uh, as I work on the texture pack, I realize how fun current Minecraft is. I mean, Minecraft Alpha, I think is, I think it appeals to me a little bit more, uh, just because of the simplicity of it. I mean, Minecraft now, like, like if you remember back, um, what made Minecraft Alpha so appealing was the fact that it was simple. You know, it it wasn't like. Uh, okay, so you get this, then you get this, then you enchant this, then you fight this dragon, and then you get credits, which makes that absolutely no fucking sense. No, this kind of Minecraft was just like, um, here you go, here it is, look at the wiki, build stuff. And essentially, that's what we did. So, I think this is going to be the location for the, I'll leave this open so I can see the moon go down. I might set up another mine shaft up around that torch somewhere, maybe below it, under that cliff. Um, but, like I said, maybe. So, I'm going to dig to bedrock, and by the time that... Ooh! Cave. There's the outside world right there. Oh, it's getting light now. Okay. Well, we didn't have to do too much spelunking, which is good. Break. This place is nice. I mean, it's no great place, but it's alright. Oh, I didn't get coal. Fuck. Is there any coal around here? There's gravel. Ah, it looks beautiful. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. It's a shame that torches take up so much, uh... I guess... Visible space. Like, you can just see every torch and it looks weird, but... Yep. Yeah, we've definitely conquered this place. Um... Oh, I'm a, I'm an idiot. I am a just pure idiot sometimes. Now we have coal, but unfortunately it's daytime, so yay, convenience. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. I don't have sticks, and I don't have wood on me. Son of a bitch! All right. Well, I'm gonna get building different column designs for this circular thing, because I'm not gonna leave it like this forever. I really want to start building. Whoa! Has this always been here? Yes, actually, yes, it has, because I remember episode one. That's weird. I remember episode one, but I don't remember what I did last week. That is some, that is some fucked up thing. No, I can't remember what happened yesterday. Um, also, as I build more and more things in this valley, I think I might clear it out a little bit more, so it's not as uh, hilly and up and down and everything like that. And, of course, everything's going to be connected eventually with gravel paths, so 
No need to worry about that. Anyway, I'm supposed to be going over here to my test area. And I'm probably going to build a lot of things out of dirt. Just for the sake of building it out of dirt. Because it's very, very easy to build with. And I'll have to take this thing down eventually. But I'll do it later. So, I want to see if there's actually a plateau at the top of this hill. Yeah, there's kind of a little bit of a flat area here. So, I kind of want the pillars to be like... Mm, I want them to be circular, but I want them to curve at the top. So, let's see. I don't want the circle to be too big, though. Um, like this, perhaps. Oh. Um, let's get a different view of this. Gravel? Yes. Indeed. Alright, let's do this. Probably get more flint from this than gravel on my way down, but should have used something other than dirt now that I realize it because the grass just makes it blend in. But I think. I think that's okay. I, I like that shape. It's circular but not too big. Um, and it's an odd numbered circle as well, which makes it. Whoop, which makes it easier to um, measure. Yep. That kind of looks cool. I kind of like that. Yes, indeed. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the four pillars and then have them kind of curl up and then over. So I'll have to build different arch designs as well. And uh, Yeah. I think I'm going to go through the different things and then show you guys as I build it so it's not too strenuous and or boring. Be right back. So before I did anything else, I decided to switch out my texture pack in this version of Minecraft. And uh, the first thing you'll see is this chest. Um, this isn't the Maddox Craft. Well, this is the Maddox Craft texture pack, but this isn't the Maddox Craft chest because the Maddox Craft chest is based on a different model of a chest. So anyway, long story short, chests are different, but everything else is pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you a tour of uh, just the texture pack. Not really. I'm gonna continue the video as normal, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just have a look at some different things. So I really like this shade of green for the grass. I think it's not too overpowering, but I do think it blends in quite well with the dirt, especially. I mean, it's a... Uh, I find that some grass shades are a bit difficult to look at for a long, you know, for an extended period of time. But I really like this shade. I mean, it's not too bright, it's not too dark, and it really blends with things, you know. And I obviously change the color of the trees as well to suit the uh, the new shade of green for the grass. And... I don't know, in my opinion it just looks really, really good, but, I mean, feedback is always welcome. Um, I changed the logs and the cobblestone, as I said I would, and, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I think probably my favourite aspect of this texture pack is the grass itself, because it, it just, it, I think it stays true to the original alpha grass while, you know, having sort of like a modern green twist on it, which I kind of like, it looks really good. Um, stone has been tinted brown like it always is in my texture pack. Cobblestone is the golden brick type thing. The torches are changed. Signs are kept the same. Couldn't be bothered to change that. Uh, furnaces, crafting bench, and all the GUI stuff is the same. But uh, logs have been changed and everything like that. So I think it's I think it's a nice change. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to keep the grass this way because it it just really blends with everything. There's really no real way to. Uh, explain this, but yeah, the, the glass has been tinted brown and changed a little bit, and uh, yes, I am going to, oh, and I changed the half slabs as well, but yeah, it's it's not like a major thing, so I'm going to head back up into this main area, and I will, well, it's turning night time now, so I think I'm going to grab some wood from the chests in the storage room, and then I'm going to head back over to where that cave is, and we can continue spelunking. Uh, so I've broken into something. Uh, there's light down there. See if I remove this torch. There is definitely light coming from this area. So I don't know if I have been here before or if it is just lava. I'm hoping it's just lava. No, I have been here before. Son of a bitch. Although the question is, where is this place? This must have been one big-ass cave system if I've been here before. I mean, this is fairly deep down, but it's also quite a distance away. Uh, cobblestone. Also, changing texture packs midway between spelunking isn't really feasible because things always look different and 
the best form of familiarity is color, at least for me. Um, so that means that essentially the only way for me to recognize stuff is if it's is if everything is the same shape and color. Uh, seeing as everything is the same shape, the only problem is is that it's not the same color. I am rambling. Let us continue down then, I guess, because this is not where we wish to be. We wish to be deeper, deeper for the diamonds, which is obviously what we aspire to grab. Indeed, be right back. Once again, broken through into something or other. Let's check it out, see what it is. Been here before too, okay. Oh! Oh man, that kind of scared me. So there's cobblestone randomly placed around the area. I see coal down here. Let's go for this. Cobblestone bridge. Yeah, I think I'm going to gather some resources from around here because I naively neglected them before. I don't know. But yes, apparently I left them... Left them, left them oh god, I'm running out of breath mid-sentence. I left them behind last time, so... I guess now is as good a time as any to get them. Derpity derp derp, especially coal, considering I always run out of coal, and I don't know why. Probably because I do so many smelting things. Um, I must say that in new Minecraft, the addition of uh, Silk Touch and the enchantments and everything like is definitely... I mean, it's not Minecraft. Like, it totally does not fit with the theme of Minecraft at all. Um, you know, with simple blocks and everything like that. Enchantments and shit. And... Uh, didn't really see that one coming, but I must say it does make things much better, much easier, uh, much more enjoyable in most cases. For example, uh, instead of, if you're going to build something like a massive project out of stone, like smooth stone, um, then you don't have to worry about mining all that cobblestone and then wasting your coal on cooking it, because then you can just, you know, use silk touch and then you get the smooth stone block. Uh, but yes, once again, I am rambling, so... Yeah, there's, there's nothing really to talk about tonight, I mean, if, if there's ever any interesting shit that I want to say, then I'll say it, but... For the most part, this is just... Not interesting at all, I must say. Yes. That's okay, I think, I think most people subscribed to me recently for my building, which I must admit I haven't been doing quite a lot of, so... But then again, fuck your couch. I'll do building when I want to do building. I'm a lazy person. But, um... Uh, I did get all that coal, didn't I? Wasn't there more down there? Yes, there is. Okay. Hopefully I don't get lost. Because as you can see, my torch placement is not very coordinated in this place, I don't think. Um... Well, okay. At least that this place has been thoroughly explored, so I don't have to worry about creepers coming up behind me and nuking my asshole. Because... My armor is completely... Well, almost completely screwed. So, if a creeper does decide to be a pain in my ass, then he will blow up and I will most definitely probably die, which I don't want to do. Because dying in this game is not fun. You die, you... Especially in this version where I have to walk 500 miles and I have to walk 500 more just to get to my stuff. That's a thousand miles and... I don't know, something that rhymes with or and pick up all my ore. I don't know. Fuck. Where was my entrance? Ah, man. Is this it? That's not it. Uh. Okay, hang on. I don't remember that. I could help. Seriously, though. Where the hell... Uh. Well, I suppose what I could do is because I'm following the torches on the left to get out of here um, and essentially what I'm down here for at the moment is coal so I could just mine out all the coal that I didn't mine before and then make my way back to the surface um, from this cave system that I have already dug through and explored I think that is a feasible option indeed I can't let you do that Sly Fox Sly Fox? Spy Fox? Snipox? Pylox? I don't know. Fuck. You must construct additional Slyfox. Let's go this way. Yeah, I, I tend to, uh, my brain tends to turn to mush after a while of doing the same thing over and over and over again, as you probably saw in Legendary. Sigh. 
Man, I'm reluctant to start legendary again. I hate that fucking map so much. All of my all of my hatred goes towards Vex. Uh but yeah, this is this is mining coal. Look how interesting this is. You totally have not seen this done before in a let's play a hundred thousand times. Hoopity doop doop doop. Doopity. Doop doop. More cold. Jeez, what was I thinking when I left all this behind? I guess it's the fact that, you know, you don't need it earlier on in the game and you're just like, yeah, cold, meh, whatever. But uh, I tell you what, once you start to pick up and actually begin building projects, coal is definitely the one thing you will always be short on. Uh, I think some dropped here, yes. So I think that's it for this area. Let's just throw some more torches down because I'm a dickhead and I apparently miss them. See, look, what does this mean? Oh, okay, okay. So this obviously was a bit wide for the torches on the left. Uh, torches on the left. On this side. Torches on this side, because it's not a defined side. Um, torches on that side of the wall to reach. So I put them on the ground instead of the wall, just to symbolize and signify which direction I was headed. So this is definitely the way out. That's not the way out. That's where I just was. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. Uh, this way. This looks familiar. The, the shape of this, yeah, the torches, the line of torches, and just the, the placement of them. Yeah, this looks definitely familiar. Um, that actually could be the entrance, if I'm not mistaken. I think that is the entrance. But, we are not leaving, we are getting coal, because we need more coal. And spelunking is boring. I swear, spelunking is definitely improved in recent Minecraft. I swear I've said this before, but in case you missed it... Last time on Rambling with Dumbasses, I said something along the lines of mining, no, spelunking in this version is fun, but it's not as fun as newer versions because... Oh, is this the main area? This is the main area indeed! This is like where I first entered this entire cave system. Oh, and this is obsidian by the way, it's like a brick, like a purple brick type thing. More blue than purple I guess, but it's kind of like a... what's it called? Aquamar- no, not aquamarine. I don't know, it's like a Prussian blue type thing. I don't even know what a Prussian blue is. All I remember is that I used to have a set of colored pencils, and on one of the colored pencils, it was the same color as the obsidian, and it was called Prussian blue. And I do believe Prussia was- was it Prussia or Prussia? I don't remember, but I think that was the old name for- Austria? I could be wrong on that. I learnt it in modern history and I haven't done it in like a year. Shut up, I've probably got that wrong. But, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about that because I'm just, I'm just gonna fuck it up and say even more wrong things. But yes, mining coal. This is what I do, except without the retarded commentary. That's, that's essentially what I do off camera. Just this, but, yeah, without saying stupid shit 24-7. So that would mean that my... mob system... Is right here. Oh yeah. I just realized that this is my mob system and I have no real way out of this cave system. Ah. Oh, damn it, why is that guy stuck? Why is that creeper stuck? There's some slimes at the back. Yo, creeper! Get in there. There we go. No problem. I think it's because there's a spider in there. Maybe he's clogging up the system. Let's uh, close that off. Right, so... I dug myself a deeper hole. Well, I'm going to explore around here, get some more coal, and then I'll let you guys know when I'm going to make my way out, so hopefully I can record my failure. Uh, once again, be right back. Alright, so I've stacked up fairly decently on coal. I've got three and a bit stacks now, so I'm going to try and uh, make my way out of here. Now, I could try and find the way that I actually came in in this episode, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. No matter how much time I devote to doing it, I don't think it's ever going to happen. So, what I'm going to try and do, this is probably the stupidest thing I've ever attempted, but I'm going to try and go up my own mob system. We've got spiders in here, unfortunately. Oh, I thought there was a creeper behind me. I was like, no, don't blow up my stuff. I can barely see in here, man. It's ridiculous. Okay. I think we're fairly safe to drop into the water. Alright, here we go. Go, 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 get up. Oh god! 
There's something above. I think that's a spider. Is it? Yes. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's a spider. Yes, okay. There's nothing below me. See, that wasn't so bad. Um, the only problem is... Well, I guess there's no real problem. I guess uh, between this episode and next episode, I'm going to make my way over to that mine shaft that we made this episode, and I will... Oh, that still scares me. Um, yes, and I will continue the elevator. No, the, the mine shaft. I don't know. It's getting later at night. I always end up finishing, like, the very last clip for an episode late at night. I've got to stop doing this. And it just... Uh, it's when my brain doesn't want to function anymore, and I'm just like... Indeed. And, yeah, it sucks. So, yeah, I hope you like the texture pack for this alpha series from now on. I'm um, definitely keeping it. Yeah, I like it. It's uh, it's not too bad, actually. But, uh, yeah, alright. I will see you guys next time, because, yeah, episode's got to end sometime, and I think it's actually getting to, getting to that time anyways. But I'm going to have to... Let's see, what do I have to do in time for next episode? I had to use the coal for something. Torches? Yes. And then spelunking for diamonds and such. Alright, yeah. So it's going to be a lot of cave work until next episode, so hopefully I've got you know, some diamonds and stuff to show for it by next time, but until then, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, take it easy, etc. Catches.